In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual science of whether or not beards prevent acne. It's not as kind of clear cut as you would hope. So I looked at all of the science and the articles and the kind of personal stories about whether or not beards prevent acne. Now, the thing is, is there's kind of a divide in the kind of information available because you have uh, information that's like uh, completely subjective. So one person saying, yes, I grew a beard and it prevented my acne, which exists. There's a great Vice article which talks just about that. And then on the other side, you have the peer-reviewed literature, which doesn't necessarily answer this question directly, but I'll share with you what I found. And then there's the information that's available from the experts. And I found information from Yale Medicine, so dermatologists at Yale Medicine, and what they have to say about uh, shaving and growing a beard and the things that you can do to make sure that you actually don't get acne from any sort of facial hair you decide to grow, whether or not it's a beard or shaving or whatever. So, you know, acne is a very common thing. It affects a huge number of people and is the number one dermatological problem in the US and I'm sure around the world as well. So in this article, I've got a few, I set five fixes um, to help you grow a beard, but also make sure that you're just not making your acne any worse. Okay, let's look at, first of all, the articles that exist online. So there's a very sort of popular and well-known Vice article where a journalist grew a beard and it got rid of his acne. And so that made me think, okay, well clearly there's something to this because uh, this person is kind of an advocate for growing a beard to get rid of your acne. Now, here's the thing, you know, when you look at individual cases, it's very hard to generalize then that it will work for everyone. But uh, there's no doubt that it worked in this person's case. So I looked a little bit deeper into the science. And uh, this is essentially the story, that this gentleman um, was of an African-American um, uh, heritage, and he decided that uh, he would grow out his beard to prevent acne, something that he had really suffered from, from a, f for a huge uh, number of years. And uh, he found that essentially it cleared up. So I was like, right, what's the underlying cause of this? And this kind of led me down this path where there's two kind of causes for acne. The first one is that, uh, you know, you're your pores get clogged and there's an overproduction of sebum in the face and that causes this acne uh, symptom where you know you get pus in the hair follicles and inflammation and all that sort of stuff but there is another way that you can get acne and there is this this kind of uh, uh, issue which is very common with uh, with men with African descent uh, which is pseudo, I need to say this properly, pseudo folliculitis barbae, which essentially is like hardcore razor bumps. So that is where they shave and they are very, very prone to ingrown hairs. And that gives a very similar outcome like acne than the kind of bacteria focused one. So what I found was that this gentleman, this, um, this uh, journalist, they had the, an issue with ingrown hairs. And so therefore, of course, growing out your beard means that you are not gonna have the issue of the ingrown hairs anymore, and it makes it better. And uh, I found a 2016 study which also backed up this. They looked at the grooming routines of men who suffered from pseudo folliculitis barbae, uh, which is like hardcore ingrown hairs and razor bumps. And this is what they found is that like, if you shave, you can actually kind of get around any serious issues by using a multi-blade razor, shaving every day and using a good pre and post moisturizing and conditioning uh, routine <clears throat> while shaving. So yes, it's possible to shave and also get rid of acne, which is caused by pseudo folliculitis barbae. Okay, so if that is the main cause of your acne, then yes, I think the science is clear that shaving 
properly can get rid of it, but also just letting the hairs grow so they no longer grow into your, your skin and cause acne um, does work. So do beards prevent acne? In this case, yes, they can, but it's not the bacteria based acne, it's the physical ingrown hair type acne. Um, okay, so that's that's kind of where I ended up with trying to understand that aspect. And now I wanted to turn my attention to the science of, you know, is there any correlation between bacteria based and, uh, or bacteria and oil based acne and beards? And this is what I found. Okay, so I found a 2014 study and they were looking at the correlation between facial hair and other things and acne. Now here's the thing, they found a positive correlation, which means yes, that it does kind of match up where if you have facial hair, you're more likely to get acne. Now here's the caveat, is they were actually using facial hair as a way to determine whether or not boys had gone through puberty. So it doesn't say that beards cause or prevent acne, but rather that there is a correlation that when you go through the hormonal changes associated with puberty, that acne is more prevalent. Uh, so it was still a little bit uncertain as to whether or not it was a cause or correlation. And I think this study probably looked at the correlation aspects a little bit more than saying beards caused uh, the acne because they found a really strong positive, positive correlation between having a beard, which was an indication that the, the, the boy had gone through puberty, but also with a uh, history of parents having acne and other, uh, I didn't think they found any lifestyle factors. Let me just refresh my memory on that. Okay, so the positive correlation factors were beard, puberty, um, having a history of acne from both parents and also uh, being overweight. So those were the biggest indicators of someone likely to develop acne. Now, um, that was a study that didn't necessarily look directly at the beard. So what I did is I was like trying to find some more information and the only bit of information based in science that I could find was information from dermatologists at Yale Medicine. So let's take a look at that now. Dermatologists at Yale Medicine have got these five things that you should do to make sure your beard doesn't uh, cause any acne. The first one is to use a facial cleanser two times a day. Facial cleansing, great, gets rid of the beard, gets rid of the sebum, but it's a uh, non-harsh way of cleaning your beard. And you've got to make sure that you get right down into the skin area because obviously that's where the acne is developing, so removing the excess oil, sebum, and dead skin cells that uh, build up in that area. They also recommend using a medicated uh, solution, and there's plenty out there. Um, go see your dermatologist if you have used commercially available stuff and it's still not working. You could need a prescription. Um, and also they were saying that when you first kind of start treating acne, you should wait about two to three weeks before seeing, sorry, two to three months before seeing the results because it can take a long time for your skin to get used to this new normal um, and also for the oil production to reduce and you know for your pores to clean out all of that stuff it can take two to three months so once you start on this medicated two times facial cleansing routine you need to just be patient um, another thing is they said you should avoid beard oil now this is a little bit controversial just because Beard oil isn't known, as far as I could find on the, on the research, doesn't necessarily cause acne. But of course, I think it just makes sense. It's like a common sense step to this, which is if you have an overproduction of oil on your face, then clearly you shouldn't adding, be adding more oil. So there we are. Maybe, I'm, you know, I'll stick with the, the Yale Medicine people. They said don't use it, so I guess the recommendation is don't use it. Uh, and the last thing is to stop touching your facial hair so much, because touching your facial hair goes from, uh, you know, turning bacteria that's on a surface into bacteria that's in your beard. So we are all guilty of it. Go check out my other video where I talk about the five ways that you're killing your beard, um, and that's one of them is just, 
I just can't help but touch my face all the time and my beard and I pull it and even my friends are like, why are you touching your beard so much? Um, so yes, it is a very hard habit to break, but if you do suffer from acne, um, making sure you don't place outside bacteria into your beard that can get onto your skin will help. So those are the five ways that Yale Medicine say that beards can prevent um, acne or you can prevent your acne getting worse if you have a beard. Um, but yeah, you know, the science is a little bit kind of hit and miss. Hmm. So if you've got anything you want to add to this, let me know in the comments. But essentially, I think where we're at is that you can have an acne-free face with and without a beard. And if your acne is mainly caused by Pseudofolliculitis barbae, which is this hardcore uh, razor bump kind of uh, issue, then growing out your beard will mean that you're no longer getting the ingrown hair issue that you had if you were shaving every day. But you can shave every day, and that 2016 study showed that if you were to shave every day with a multi-blade razor and use the proper treatment for um, for before and after shaving, then that just will also help. So yeah, essentially there's ways to get rid of acne no matter what, you just have to be committed to the uh, to resolving it. Uh, and that's where we're at. Um, so yeah, follow the, the advice from the Yale Medicine Dermatologist. I think that's really good advice if you're suffering with acne and you have a beard. All right, let me know in the comments what you would add to this. And uh, if this video has been useful, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, all of that sort of stuff. And I shall see you in the next video.